Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about the triangle sum theorem. When we talk about triangle sum theorem, we're specifically talking about the interior angles of a triangle. Now it doesn't matter what those degrees inside of a triangle are, because no matter what, we're going to find that those angles will always add to the same number. That's why you'll notice that I have x degrees, y degrees, and z degrees, because we don't we don't necessarily know what these numbers are going to be, but we will find exactly what all three of these will add up to. So we're going to look at this proof, and we're going to use this proof to help us figure out exactly how many degrees they add up to. As you can see here, we have parallel lines A and B, and you have X degrees and Z degrees on the outside of the triangle. We need to somehow get them inside of that triangle. But let's take a look at what we have right now. You might notice that these three angle measures, when we put them together, they create a straight line. Well, think about it. How many degrees are inside of a straight line? 180. So as of right now, we have x plus y plus z equaling 180 degrees. But that's the outside of the triangle. Well, how could we get this x inside the triangle? Well, we mentioned already that we have parallel lines, and we have this line that intersects it, which we call the transversal. And if you remember, we have two angles that are alternate interior angles. And what do we know about alternate interior angles? That they're congruent. So if we have x on the outside, we can also put x on the inside of that triangle. So we now have x on the inside. And guess what? Same idea happens right here. We have the parallel lines and the transversal. Z is on one side of the transversal. If I put it on the other side, they become alternate interior angles. That makes this angle Z degrees. Well, we still have X plus Y plus Z. We haven't changed the values, but we do know that now they're inside of that triangle. So if we add x plus y plus z, they're still going to add up to 180 degrees. So we had to use the alternate interior angle theorem to get there, but it still comes out to being the same thing, 180 degrees. So triangle sum theorem says all three angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. That's key for these problems. Let's take a look at how some of these work. Here we see a triangle. It has 42 degrees, 51 degrees given, but we're trying to figure out how much this last angle is. Well, we know that if we add 42 degrees, 51 degrees, and this mystery angle, no matter what, they're still going to add to 180. So I'm going to have these equal to 180. Let's combine like terms. 51 and 42 gives us 93. Haven't done anything with that x yet. And it's still equaling to 180 degrees. Let's just subtract away the 93. That's going to leave us with... 87 degrees. So if we check 42, 51, and 87, when we add those all together, it's going to come up with 180, which is exactly what we're looking for. Let's look at a little bit of a different problem. This particular triangle is giving us 34 degrees, 31 degrees, and up here we have 5x degrees. Don't let that fool you we still know that all three of these angles, no matter what, are still going to add up to 180 degrees. So let's write that down. 34 plus 31 plus 5x is still going to add to 180 degrees. All right, 34 and 31, when we combine those, gives us 65 plus 5x equals 180. Nothing's happened to these two things yet. Let's subtract away that 65. Oh, let's see. I'm going to have to borrow. 7 minus 6 is 1. So 5x equals 115. 
I gotta divide by five to get that five out of there. Let's see, two fives fit in, and that's gonna leave 15 divided by five is 23. So X equals 23. Now that is not a degree measure. That is the value of X that will make this triangle add up to 180 degrees if we were to substitute it in here, okay? I'm gonna give you a new problem for you to try on your own. So if you want to pause this, you can take a second to pause it and try it on your own. The triangle that you see here is 22 degrees, 46 degrees, and 7x degrees. So take a second, pause the video, try it on your own, and we'll discuss the result. All right, let's see how you did. We know that 22 plus 46 plus 7x should add to 180. That's just the triangle sum theorem. Let's add our like terms, combine them. Let's see, that gives us 68 plus 7x equals 180 degrees. Now we have to get rid of this 68. Oops, let's see. If we do 180 minus 68, we come up with 112. And if we divide by 7, we will get 16 as an answer. Hopefully that's what you came up with. All right. Let's try a little bit different this time. Now, it, it's really nothing different in terms of process. It's just different looking from what we're used to seeing. Okay. This time we're given 4x degrees, negative x minus 12 degrees, and 8x plus 5 degrees. It looks different, but guys, it's the same exact process. We know that 4x and 8x plus 5, and if we add negative x minus 12, it's still going to add up to 180 degrees. All we have to do is combine like terms. 4x, 8x, and negative 1x is going to leave us with 11x. 5 and negative 12 is going to leave us with negative 7. And we haven't done anything to that other side yet. We want to add 7. It's going to give us 11x equals 187. And if we divide by 11, that's going to leave us with x equaling 17. Now look, again, we didn't do anything different here. We just took the interior angles, we added them up, and set them equal to 180, and then solved like normal. Okay? Here's a new problem for you to try. Again, if you want to take a second to pause it, try it on your own, then come back, we'll discuss the answer. All right, let's uh, see what you did here. We know that we've got to add x plus 3. We know that we have to add negative 3x plus 5. And we know we have to add 7x minus 18. And that's all going to add up to our 180 degrees according to our theorem. Combine like terms. 1x, negative 3x, and 7x. That's 5x. 3 5 and negative 18 gives us negative 10. We have not touched the other side yet. Well, let's add 10 to both sides. Leaves us with 5x equaling 190. And if we divide by 5 on both sides, let's, let's see. We can fit 3 fives into 19. That's going to leave us 40 divided by 5 is 8. Our solution is 38 degrees. So, it doesn't matter what the problem looks like. It doesn't matter how many variables and everything else they throw into there. All that we really are concerned with for these problems is that the interior angles of every triangle, when we add them, is going to give us a result of 180 degrees. This is a pretty easy concept to work with, but it's very important for us to do anything else in geometry because pretty much every shape that you can make that is a polygon is made up of triangles. So it's very useful for us to know this. Okay, I will see you soon.